This week on Salmon Showdown, the race is on for the Founders Cup. There's a massive field in Frankfurt this weekend, but only two boats have a shot at the title. It's a slow start for the overall points leader. Very, very tough morning. Really, it, 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 by, by far the slowest day we've ever had. And that opens the door for the one team that can catch them. Here, we got them. Good one. There's 10 grand and the title on the line, but there can only be one winner. The Founders Cup champion will be crowned here at the Benzie Fishing Frenzy, site of this year's final Salmon Showdown. This is the final week on the Lake Michigan Tournament Trail. We are here in Frankfort, Michigan, site of the Benzie Fishing Frenzy. It is down to the final two teams. Let's take a look back at how they got here. After 10 events in nine port cities, the field of Founders Cup contenders has been whittled down to two teams. Lacavia, one of the smallest boats on the trail, is holding on to a slim lead. Matt Wing is the leader of this team, which consists solely of himself, his daughter Katie, and his son Luke. Over 60 boats are competing here this weekend, but to take the title, Lacavia only has to beat one. Team Slipknot currently sits in second. Captain Lenny Vaughn is very familiar with these waters, but with the title on the line, he's invited friend and ally Captain Mark Chimura to join his squad. Captain Mark is a former Salmon Showdown champion and one of the most respected and experienced captains on the lake. So it comes down to Team Lacavia, the overall leader, versus Team Slipknot, the only team left that can pass them. Their battlefield is the Benzie Fishing Frenzy out of Frankfurt, Michigan, and thanks to a bit of a blow from Mother Nature, it looks like all the teams here will be starting with a clean slate. We had a perfect, I mean, the perfect storm for uh, making fishing as tough as you can make it. Yesterday we had a north blow and it pretty much, the water was already unstable as it was. Temp was only 50, 60 foot down. And when that north low came in, it, that, that cold water was sitting underneath that warmer water and it just moved it right up. And Didn't, I wouldn't call it a complete flip by any means, but it mixed the water up pretty good. And the fish seemed to be very scattered from that. Basically all the fish that were, were staged, ready to go, that were just kind of hanging out outside the harbors along the shore, that's gonna put them into a mode of let's let's go, let's go up the rivers and we're gonna find where we need to go. So today being the second day of that cold water, those fish are gonna be moving and whatever's left out there is coming to the harbor. Based on our fishing yesterday, which was pretty slow, we're gonna head south, we're gonna head down towards the herring hole. Looks like we're gonna have a lot of company. Based on the boats out here this morning, looks like everyone's setting up to go south. So the race is on at the Frenzy, and with the North Blow last night, all bets are off on the best spot to go for the Big Kings. Most teams hang a left out of the Frankfurt Harbor and head south. Both our featured teams are in that group as well. On board the Slipknot, they're still cruising as they pass the Lacavia, pulling up and setting lines in what they call the Herring Hole. Uh, it's been a long season, started back in Michigan City. Uh, we've had a good season. Our team is myself, Matt Wing, my daughter Katie, and my son Luke. Um, this is it. Keith, the cameraman, it's a privilege to have you on, on the boat. Uh, you're the first one that's been on the boat in a year or two other than the three of us. 
what we're trying to do here this morning. Uh, the water has even cooled down even more since yesterday. And uh, from what I'm seeing here on the graph, we, we don't have any bait here. Uh, we really don't have any fish, it doesn't look like. For Lacavia, it's not what they had hoped to find when they pulled up here this morning. A bit further south, Team Slipknot is throttling down and looking for a place to set up shop. All right, let's just get, we'll get set up between these two boats. Yep. Back on the Lacavia, their season-long quest for the Founders' Cup has come down to these final two days. That puts time at a premium here at the Frenzy, and Matt and his crew quickly decide they can't waste any more of it here. While Lacavia switches to Plan B, Team Slipknot is about to find out just what kind of fish they're trolling over. I know. Ah, gear. Not even very big. Dang it. Salmon Showdown is brought to you by Little River Casino Resort. Dreamweaver, home of the revolutionary spin doctor. Raise Eyewear. It pays to wear rays. Man, I can't wait to go fishing tomorrow. Same here. Nothing beats getting up at dawn to head out on Lake Michigan and catch our own dinner. Just like my father and his father before him. Maybe you were adopted. Welcome back to Salmon Showdown. It is day one of the Benzie Frenzy and Founders Cup leaders Team Lacavia are still on the hunt for some big fish. Kings can be massive this time of year, but they can also be tricky to find. However, there are other options lurking below the Lake Michigan surface. The herring hole didn't work out for us, so we picked up and we ran south. Um, we are now down in the barrel just north of Onekama. No bites yet. Looks like we're marking some lake trout right now. Not my preference to try to have to fish for them. So, but we'll see what we can do here. Over on the slip knot, they continue to pick away at them. They've found decent sized kings and lakers, but the reality is this team is on the outside looking in when it comes to the Founders Cup title. To knock Lacavia out of that top spot, they'll need to post a big score here, and that's going to take a whole different class of fish. That'd be a goodie if it was bigger. <laughs> As time continues to tick on the day one fishing period, Team Lacavia is still waiting on their first bite. They've already relocated once this morning, so at this point, they're going to ride out their current trajectory for better or for worse. We're gonna pretty much stay on this north, northeast troll um, for the remainder of the morning. So we have to pull lines at about uh, 1230, 1240, something like that to, to get back up to uh, Frankfurt in time. Things are still slow and steady on the slip knot, but that only wins the race if you eventually cross the finish line. I don't know, it was chrome, whatever it was, but it, it turned it, turned the hook, and it was a pretty decent size one. Enduring the ups and downs of tournament fishing can really build one's appetite. Luckily for this crew, Captain Mark is well versed at keeping his crew happy and fed. What are you working on? I'm right. hungry. <laughs> hey, if you and I stay down here, they won't know no different. No. Just something to eat so we got some. We need our nutrition, not to catch fish, just to put up a lenny. He's doing really good today. Didn't have to give him no sedatives yet. And there you go, Captain Mark's special charcuterie board, Lake Michigan style. Back on board the Lacavia, nobody's eating anything, and that includes the fish. Very, very tough morning. Um, Really, it, 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 by, by far the slowest day we've ever had this, this season. 
I really don't think it's so much what we're running because we're not marking anything, hardly marking any bait. Uh, it's location. Um, I'm really quite bewildered of where these salmon are and, and the mature salmon uh, because they should be here. Mature salmon are exactly what Slipknot needs to steal the title here in the season's final weekend. With time ticking away on day number one, this bite will likely be their last chance. Pretty simple for Team Lacavia, no fish means no weigh-in. Team Slipknot, on the other hand, does want to get the official number on that last king they boated. 19, 17, 70. Right. No, just one. Are you counting that? Just that. Yep. It's probably a bit less than what they had hoped for, but Slipknot decides it's close enough to score. So we get one out of six possible fish here on day number one. That leaves things wide open for the Founders Cup Championship. We'll see who takes it on day number two. Salmon Showdown is brought to you by Moonshine Lures, quality super glow lures for salmon, trout, walleye, and striper. Magnum Metals. Clemens Boats, your Great Lakes Albemarle dealer. Wave Pro high performance boat pedestals eliminate bottoming out and back jarring impacts. Now available the 2.0 version and slider seat hubs. The best in air shock technology provides a controlled return to keep you on your seat. Fast and easy to install with permanent mounts or movable hubs for quick and easy seat placement in 10 to 16 inch models. Wave Pro high performance boat pedestals best ride on the water online at waveproshock.com. It is the final day of the Lake Michigan Tournament Trail season. The next seven hours will determine this year's Founders Cup champ. Right now, the title is Team Lacavia's to lose. Slipknot still has a chance, but to get the points they need, they'll not only need to beat Lacavia at the scales, but nearly the entire field as well. We're in second place. We need to pretty much win it or come in second place to get the title. No, we're, we're going gonna, fishing. We're going to go around Point Betsy. We're going to go in a, into a bay. We're going to start right here at the Spearheads this morning. Uh, there are a few fish caught here yesterday. Uh, see if there's some left. I think the water probably has warmed up a, a little bit. So we'll see if they're here and uh, even though might be out of temp. Um, see if they're here in the, in the low light conditions. For Team Lacavia, the day gets off to a much better start. A quick bite is just the thing to wipe away the memory of yesterday's shutout. And it gives Luke a chance to highlight his family's unique rod handling technique. The one thing uh, we do a little bit different than some other boats, the kids, they keep, we keep the rod tips down in the water. A lot of people hold them up. We feel that you have less angle on the fish to, th to throw the hook, so that you'll see them keep their rod tips down. Got him. Seconds later, Katie gets in on the action as this quick bite turns into an early morning double. Hold on here, hold on, he's live. Yeah. 
the ice, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did really think we'd be a double. Man, it's not that big of a king, but it feels, well, good, it. <laughs> feels good to catch one. Day two on the Slipknot looks an awful lot like day number one. Slow and steady action, but still missing that big adult king that could put a dent in Lacavia's existing lead. Keep it neutral. Keep it neutral, Mike. Yes. Grab that. All right. Yep. Let me get in front of you. Here, we got him. Good one. All right. All right, let's get her done. That's one. That's one. Salmon Showdown is brought to you by Purple Taco Fly Supply. Create your own trolling flies. Garmin. Founders Brewing Company. Make loading and unloading your boat easy with the Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch. Load with ease, simply drive on the trailer and the Dorado will automatically latch to your bow eye. A hard plastic liner protects your boat. For launching, back your boat in, pull the release lever and away you go. For roller or bunk trailers, the Dorado is quick and easy to install and works with most V-Hull boats. Spend less time at the landing and more time fishing. The Dorado Catch and Release Automatic Boat Latch, online at doradoproducts.com. We are now into the final hours of the season. The Founders Cup title and the 10 grand that goes with it will go to one of these teams. Lacavia, the current leader, or Slipknot, the only team left that can mathematically catch them. To do it, they'll need two fish today in the range of 25 pounds. They've already got one in the boat, and this one sounds promising. Oh, see, it just came up, whatever happened. All right, you no touch, you no touch and no more rods. That's 0 for 2 for you, the last two. Not sure what's worse, hooking up with fish and losing them, or not hooking up at all. After a quick start on board the Lacavia, the action has slowed to a crawl. Now Matt's starting to wonder if the lead he came in with will be good enough to hold that top spot. So, um, Slipknot, he weighed a 17.4 fish yesterday. Um, he roughly has to probably weigh two 25 pound fish today. What Matt doesn't know is that Slipknot is one big fish away from snatching the title away in the final hour of the season. After his stinging rebuke of Mark's rod handling skills, Captain Lenny decides to make amends by whipping up one of Mark's favorite tournament treats. Here you go, Mark. Thank you, sir. Swiss and ham, no mustard, no, no mayonnaise. So with the crew fed, it's time to put the rally caps on to make one final push for the title. Moments later, with the taste of dry ham and Swiss still freshly on his lips, Mark gets another chance to break his 0 for 2 slump. Over on Lacavia, they're pulling lines as time runs out on the final fishing period of the year. The mood is mixed. They've worked hard all year long to build their lead, and now all they can do is hope that their existing score will be enough to carry them across the finish line. You know, I wish we caught more fish today and yesterday. 
and now we caught bigger fish, but I mean, it's fine. I definitely kind of wish we would have gone out with a bang because I traveled so far just to come fish for the weekend. Hopefully, I don't know, hopefully we'll pull it off. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, you know, it's it's been my life and uh, to maybe pull this off is, is just, Again, my, my knees go weak. It's, it's, it's really cool. Meanwhile, Slipknot still needs one big king to keep their title hopes alive, and in the final moments of the tournament, they do get that shot. More out than in now. Out. See a lot of silver back then. Can Mark break his streak and get it in the boat? And if so, will it be enough? We'll find out at the day two scales. Team Slipknot did in fact land that final fish. It's been weighed and it's been tallied. The day two scales are closed and with them, so is the tournament trail season. After five months of fishing across 10 Lake Michigan port cities, all that's left to do is reveal the 2022 champs. Founders Cup champions, $10,000 and the cup, Team Latavia! Nice job, nice job. Take this. Well, that is a wrap. Things have come to a close here at Frankfurt, the site of the Benzie Fishing Frenzy, and for our season-long race, the Founders Cup presented by Founders Brewing Company. Congratulations to our year-long champion, Team Lacavia, and thanks to you for joining us on this journey up, down, and around Lake Michigan. We look forward to seeing you again next year for the return of Salmon Showdown. Closed captioning is brought to you by WavePro. Best ride on the water. Online at waveproshock.com.